Blessings on blessings on blessings on blessings. Hello again here. Today I'm going to be reading from my book of wisdom here again. Let's go straight into it. Generosity is better than fame. And this is the scripture. Everyone wants to be close to the rich and famous, but a generous person has all the friends he wants. As far as, that's Proverbs 19 and 6. As far as influence goes, a generous person has stronger reach than the rich and famous. It is better to be generous with what we have than to measure our worth against the wealthy. No matter how vast or limited our resources we have, we can live charitably and we can live humbly. The lesson of the widow's offering is a beautiful example of giving God our best. In Luke 21 verses 1 through 4, it recounts how a widow dropped two small copper coins in the offering box at the temple. Two, y'all. Jesus drew his disciples' attention to it, saying, This poor widow has given a larger offering than any of the wealthy. For the rich only gave out of their surplus, surplus, but she sacrificed out of her poverty and gave it to God all that she had to live on. May we be as generous with our own offerings as well as the gifts we extend to help others. Don't miss that. God is a faithful father who will supply all of our needs. So there's no need to withhold anything from him. And this is the prayer source of life. I want to reflect your wonderful generosity in the way I live. Be honored in my giving. All right. A generous person has all the friends he wants. Now, I, I can't say nothing no more. Uh, I want to hone in on this one again. The poor widow gave larger offering than any of the wealthy, and she was already poor and pretty much gave the last that she had. And it also says, let's be generous with our offerings to extend it to help others. Okay. Generosity is better than fame. And then just always remember, it's better to give than to receive. What better get? I, I tell you one thing. I feel good when I can give, even if I don't have it a little bit myself. If I can give half of that to somebody else that is in need, I feel better because for one, I don't want to see nobody going without because I know how that feels. And then for two, I want that person to be able to go home that day and be like, oh Lord, some of this weight been lifted off of me. Might not be much. I may be in the grocery store and have $2 to get a loaf of bread and I see somebody up there trying to get a package of lunch meat or something. Why not help that person? Everybody can eat. That's the way I look at it. You know, if you at the gas pump and somebody say, hey, I, I'm trying to get $2 worth of gas and you getting five, you can get them an extra dollar and they have three and everybody be good. That's the way I look at it. I just like to help people because I don't like to see uh, see people suffer. If it's anything I can do, I don't care if it, because it's not taken away from me. It's blessing them because number one, if I already had a little bit, it's not taken away from me because I already had something. Some people don't have anything. So a generous person has all the friends he wants. That's it. I want to reflect. Your wonderful generosity in the way that I live, oh Lord. Hope you were blessed by this one today. Leave your comments down below. Hope to see you back here soon. Powerful blessings, powerful blessings coming and be blessed.